Hey everyone and welcome to Shuriken Skills number 61 here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. And this Shuriken skill is to learn about the isolate blending feature in Illustrator. Very useful when you want to just constrain the blending to a particular group of objects. And I use it quite frequently when I'm demonstrating RGB against CMYK. Okay, and I'm going to do exactly that here. So I'm going to select these three ellipses just here, a red, green, and blue one. And I'm going to change the way they blend. Now I could do that from the top, the control strip here, but what I am going to do instead is use the transparency panel because that way it will be persistent. And I'm going to change the blending there to screen. And you can see that's working exactly the way I want it to with the colors in between and in the center here, but it is also blending with the background. And I'll do the same with the CMY ones just here, but change these to multiply because that's how it works with CMYK when you're emulating it here because it's subtractive, so you multiply against it. And you can see the same thing is true, that I've got the interaction between the objects here that I need, but of course it's working against the background. So I'm going to group that set just there. Of course, nothing changes there immediately. And I also group the set here on the left. And this is where you use the isolate blending feature because that just keeps the blend contained to the group. And when I check that, you'll see there you go. I've got the blending that I want between those three shapes there. And if I do the same on the side here, I have it there also. And that's it. That's your shuriken skill to practice this time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications and feedback to me either here or via Facebook or Twitter. But for now, we're done. And I'll see you next time for another shuriken skills episode. See ya.